So I'm single again, yeah. And I'm out there plowing, you know. And I was having unprotected sex with a stranger because it's the only way to do it, you know. I think STDs are a myth anyways. You just go in the ocean, that shit goes away. You put a little sea salt on it. Get rid of your burning with the Lord. <laughs> and yeah, we were already like five minutes in and she said, wait, you don't have AIDS, do you? <laughs> and I said, no, we both do. <laughs> it's too late, girl. I'm in you. So that same girl, she had her, she had her <laughs> pierced, you know? And I, I don't know why I grabbed my dick. Uh, she had her pussy pierced, let's be clear. And I never experienced that in my life. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, that's hot, that's cool. But then during the act, it started scratching me, you know? And then I felt like a bitch. I wanted, I, I wanted to be like, excuse me, miss, but your pussy is hurting me right now. And you can't say that, you just take the scratches, you know? But then after that, I'm curious like a cat. So I started asking her like, what, what made, she, she only had two ears pierced and a pussy, you know? She didn't even have a lot and she wasn't tatted up nothing. I was like, what made you do that? And she said she just wanted a piercing. I said, what about your nose? And she said, oh no, that's too much. <laughs> so you put an extra hole down there? That's crazy. My, uh, my ex-girlfriend was a witch. That's not a joke, yeah. She came out of the broom closet during the pandemic, yeah. She did, and I, I'm half Mexican, can you tell? You know, poquito, yeah. <laughs> my mama is full Mexican, my dad is white as fuck. So I came out looking like a lesbian, you know? I bring that up because if you say you're a witch to the Mexican community, it's like, demonio, you know? <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> and then she's like, no, no, I'm a sweet witch. I'm like the pink one from Wizard of Oz, not the green one. And I was like, well, what do you do? And she said, one thing I practice is called sex magic. I was like, okay, I'm listening, yeah. And she's like, no, it's not what you think. What it is, it's a shortcut to manifestation. And what you do is you whack it. And when you come, it's a powerful time in your loins or the universe. I wasn't really listening, you know. <laughs> Maybe that's why we didn't make it. And uh, essentially, you flick your bean to achieve your dream, you know. That's the cliff notes right there. And uh, I believe in weird shit. I'm a hippie, dog, you know? I believe it. I, I, and I'm, I realize many of y'all don't. I got three rocks in my pocket right now, bro. <laughs> Not that kind anymore, though, you know? I got <laughs> just some quartz, some amethyst, you know? <laughs> Imagine the power in that. What if we could whack off and achieve goals, achieve dreams? What if we did it collectively as a human race? In, in different rooms, of course. Yes, he did. But the same goal, we were like, free Ukraine! <laughs> Don't worry, that's the one political joke I got. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. You guys down for a story? <laughs> yeah. Hey man, I got raided by the police. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who else did you get raided by, you know? I got raided by Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> And they raid you real early, like 6, 7 a.m., bro. I was asleep. I'm like, raid me at noon, the door is open. <laughs> no need for a battering ram, sir. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was asleep and I'm blind as a bat. I wear contacts and glasses. And I think it's my roommate, Leo, playing a prank on me. And then I'm reaching for my glasses. I hear, hands in the air, motherfucker. And I was like, who is this, you know? <laughs> and I put them on, I was like, oh shit, <laughs> it's the SWAT team. <laughs> And then, and then I go to the door and I got my hands in the air and I open the door and there's a Culver City cop pointing a shotgun at my chest. And I go, Chris? And he goes, Craig? Dude, this is my buddy Chris And I probably shouldn't have said his whole name right there. <laughs> and we both have clearly gone down different paths, you know? And he's a cop, I'm a drug addict, but I still see my friend from Little League, bro. I've known him since 10 years old. And I'm just like, help me. <laughs> and he's like, I will. And then he cuffed me up, bro. But he did, he put him on loose though, like a, like a Coachella bracelet, you know? 
I've been cuffed up three times prior to this day. They crank them bitches on, dude. They, they cause a little nerve damage. You can't stock apples good at Trader Joe's the next day, you know? I work there at this time. We're on the greener pastures now, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I, I just see my friend, and I'm like, dude, what's this about? You know, I, I got weed in there. I got mushrooms in there, you know? And he's like, bro, stop telling me this. <laughs> I was like, dude, I got firecrackers, and I'm... I'm on probation for firecrackers, you know? <laughs> it was a Hermosa Beach incident. I threw some firecrackers at police officers. <laughs> I had cocaine's a hell of a drug, bro. And uh, I, I think they're there for me. But what had happened was I lived in the back house, and they were there for the front house. His name was King Mike. They are there for King Mike, and he was two strikes. They were trying to strike him out. I knew his name was King Mike because that was his name on the, on the Wi-Fi right there. <laughs> King Mike. He used to let me use that shit. The password was thug123. <laughs> but I don't know if they're there for him. I got raided the wrong house. How does that even happen, you know? And I just like, maybe it's that one time you smoke meth, bro. They're quick. <laughs> and so now I'm in the alley and they're questioning me and I'm cuffed up. And then I just get real nervous and I farted on those fools. <laughs> And I know that sounds made up. I swear on my life. I swear on my cats. I got four cats. I love them. I farted on the police. And, and I, it just, it was so early. And there were so many of them. There was helicopters and drug sniffing dogs. They're like, you got anything hippie? I'm like, of course, bro. <laughs> just some firecracker switchblades, weed and mushies, you know? Enough to have a good life. <laughs> the bare necessities. And... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, I made work later that day. We're good. And, uh, but I ran into Chris later. He was patrolling the streets. And he, he uh, told me that the precinct talked about me for two months. <laughs> He's like, bro, they were clowning you. They were making fun of you. They're like, remember that retarded hippie that farted on you? And I was like, yeah, that was me, dog. <laughs> you guys are awesome. My name is Craig Conan. Thank you so much. Whoa!